today on Red Carpet Show bringing to you Slim Brown. I know the guy right from the days when he used to do the same like song like Uchechi. And as they go by, he keeps revolving beautifully well with beautiful songs and of course rocking Nigeria like no other place. And then apart from Nigeria, he's been so wonderful doing great things with great bits. And this is Slim Brown. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you got. What's up, bro? Andrew, what's up? Yeah. So, this is Slim Brown. It's your and boy. <laughs> this is what it's like. Hang it up. So, okay, what's up? I'm good. What's up? Like? my food. Wow. Yeah. What about the colors? <laughs> what do you got? It's where I work, you know, so the colors are how we have a way of inspiring you. Know, you know, when it's bright, you know, you see bright and so on, you see bright and you know. So, I love the bright colors and all that. Maybe it's because of the kind of color you have, your hair, and then the color of your wall. Yeah, <laughs> everything's so bright, right? Yeah. Alright, this is fun. Red Carpet Show, right on the show, bringing you the finest, the skilled and talented Nigerian artists. What we we'll do is quite simple. We'll always bring them to you the way you like it. So we'll go to them and we'll bring back inspiration behind the story. Today, Slim Brown will be spinning. I like to the word spinning, not sharing, because when you share, you keep back some. Then when you spin, you spill everything. So, we're gonna spill the way it is. Yeah. So, let's take you back from Lagos to Enugu. Who is Slim Brown actually? Um, a simple dude like you see, right? Mm -hmm. um, I started music, you know, way back, you know. But um, let's say it started for me back at the school, you know. I schooled in Enugu. University of Nigeria, you know. So I did music, a lot of music while I was in school. And after school, when I graduated, it just happened that by the time I coincidentally when I was graduating but at the same time I was having a hit song on the streets, which is the Ebu Ebanana you know, it was everywhere on the streets was bigger. So somehow it gave me a hope to be in this career. So like um, that is me, the Slim Brown, real name Hilary Brown, graduated from laboratory medicine. Right now, doing music and so, how does a level three medical student, or gra not a graduate, end up being behind the studios? Yeah, you know the world is changing right now. You know, you know all those strange things happen in the end times. <laughs> 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 but basically, I, I would say, I would say, um, what you what you study in school, it goes out to all the people like uh, talents right now in school and people really. I discover like. It's not what you study in school that end up being what you become. So, uh, so your talent is your talent. You can study something else, but always look within you. What is it that really bores you? What is that thing that you can do without, you know, being stressed out? And for me, music, entertainment, and what I do right now is just it. So, for you, when you sing, you don't get stressed out singing. Well, I get stressed out. They give me four shows in a day. I will definitely get stressed. But the truth is, you don't see that stress, you know, because you, you love you, you love what you're doing. You know. You play a lot of shows and you, you, it's, it's fun, you know. Those are definitely a human, you, they love diminishing returns, you definitely set in there, you, you get fired down and all. But definitely, you're not doing it with, uh, you know, grumbling. You do yeah. so much joy, that's the good thing about it. You know, you can work all night, you can travel everywhere, because it's music and it's what you want to do, you know. Okay, Slim, now let's talk about Slim Brown going on. His attitude towards life, his belief, philosophy, and thoughts about life. Well, I would say I was that uh, easygoing chap, right? Yeah, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't very serious about life. My philosophy would be that that uh, laugh a lot, play a lot. You know, uh, I tend to be that way. I just know that definitely, uh, whatever you do, just work hard at it, pray, and God, God will definitely have His way. You know, so uh, I don't believe in so much like it's a struggle. Like whatever I've achieved, whatever I've done, when the way the inspiration comes, the music. I don't believe it's me, like I'm talented or I don't believe it's God, you know, His grace and His mercy. So I just, most times, it makes me just relax and have fun while I work. Because the truth of the matter, I know you personally hold the class, I get money class. You know, if it's about hard work, the wee barrel pushers will be yeah, yeah, So it's about, you know, it's God's grace and you using your mind. So I'm, my philosophy of life basically is get to know what you love to do while you're doing it, have fun, and first of all, put God first, you know, then. Everything goes well. And the story has it that Slim Brown used to rap. Yeah, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact. Like um, I started off like rapping, you know, doing hip hop, 
like my first album I did with my group Kletu, female me myself, and a girl called Cynthia. And we uh, she used to sing, I used to rap, I used to sing a bit too in the group, but well, basically doing rapping and all that. Um, but uh, along the line, I started singing. You know, when we went when I went solo, I started singing. You know, you know, we must have this sing class or dance class. It's not just talent alone. You know, there are a lot of stuff you know that come together, which is you know, but me is most especially from the East Grace. So, so, what's the inspiration behind the Ebu? Ebu and Arabic? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I, like I, I used to tell of cash right now. Like when I went back, I went to Enugu one time, two, two weeks ago, and I met a couple of. You know, young cats doing that thing. I'm like, oh, you said like, okay, see, it's not really been easy. Like, uh, right now, everybody wants their kid to sing. Yeah. By the time we started this thing, yeah. right, you would be look, be looked at like stupid if you want to be a musician. You know, I, I came on the scene professionally, right? I started singing in 2000. I started playing shows and doing stuff. Then music was a no go area in Nigeria. Nobody even cares. When I went on professionally, I was in um, 2005. 2014 and 2005, that was when we had the outbreak of Star Plus and Two Face. You know, that was when it was just fresh. Yeah. But no, nobody ever believed that the industry was going to be at this point. So when I did that Ebu, I did it when I was graduating from school. And, uh, you know, after reading a juicy course like medicine and you want to do music, it's crazy. Nobody wants to let you do that. Wants to let you do that. So when I did like, okay, Ebu and Alu Gucci, you know, you left your profession and you're doing music. So those are all the concepts that came on. Like, okay, let me let me play with it and I did it and it just was a You really speak Igbo very well. What part of I mean Igbo land are you from? Okay. Funny enough I don't speak Igbo very well. I'm mean, not a very fluent Igbo speaker, like a lot of people don't know, but yeah. I do Igbo songs. Because I didn't grow up in the Igbo land, I grew up in Benin, Makodi. That's where I grew up all my life, like I came to the East when I was ready for my university Shari institution, you know. So but I'm, I'm from originally from Abia State, Umwaha. You know, I grew up in Makodi, so basically I, I, I tend to bring a lot of stuff, you know, about my environment, you know, like uh, I did spend a lot of time in Umwaya, but I, do, I, go, I travel everywhere now, every now and then, so see the culture of my people, see how they, you know, that's where I got the Igbo influence, it wasn't just anywhere, I got that Igbo influence through, you know, your mom see, your dad, when they speak, you know, around you, so there's... Uh, then I went to the school, like basically I went to the school, it's very school. Like I went to the same school with Two Face, in India. Okay. I went to the same school with Blackface. That's yeah, really, uh, yeah, but most of the girls are going to school in Makoli. So when I went to my first university, in Missouri College in Makoli, I lost my classmates there. We were there my first year. I started listening to Love Nas. I heard of Nas, I heard a lot of um, Pop Daddy, that kind of rap, you know. Yeah. So basically, I, as a child boy, I started doing gospel hip hop. So there's this song that Nas had, the lovers are only girls, because there's Jesus on the cross with a crook nigga, and the killers, that song was really hot. I, I liked it, so I, 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 got, I got the lyrics in time. So I went to a gospel uh, concert, and I wanted to spit, spit it. But they didn't let me spit that song, so they gave me an instrumental, I just spit on it, an instrumental. So that's when I started. I said I rapped on it and I killed the show. It was a very big show in school. So, and I would never, I'm not performing, that was my first performance, and it was big. Like it was a very big gospel show. So after that day, people started calling me different fellowships, different churches to rap. So I left the school, went to the mission of Nigeria. When I went there, I was in, my, in the fellowship in school. So I was basically doing gospel hip hop. So everybody has, you know, there's a there's a gospel concert. There's a, I was always rapping. So that's how I started. From so, okay. Basically, you are living the church for the street. No, 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 no. no. Gospel church, hip hop. This days you do. No, no. The church, church is the, the church is the street. The church yeah, is the street. The church is the street. I don't, I don't see, I don't see the difference. Okay, okay. But the difference, what I, I think the difference is, right? I used to do gospel music, but right now I do secular music, right? I do entertainment as a career. Right? Then you were doing. Music. I was just doing gospel music. I wasn't doing a career. Okay. I was in school. I was doing gospel music as a ministry. And right now I'm doing music as a career. Now you sound like a pastor. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> then it's not like I was. Alright, I go to church to perform and I ask them to pay me. So we just do it for what we love. Sometimes they give you stuff, but not, it wasn't a career, I was just a student. Right now, I'm doing music with pay bills, so I'm an entertainer. So it doesn't stop you from so still singing from, in the church. Yeah, they're yeah. not singing in the church anymore, but, yeah. but it, it doesn't make you believe in the church. I'm singing in the church. Not just, not that, I just, I don't sing in the church. It's just that you don't sing yeah, in the church. Yeah, so sing. are we looking at any, anything new from Slim Brown anytime soon? Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming. I'm going to have videos I want to do. I'm actually trying to get, um, um, remixes 
like the upper Sasson that is hot on the street right now. The needs to be coming soon. You know, upper Sasson, you know. Upper Sasson is like everywhere right now. So I want to do a remix to the song and it's coming out soon. I'm trying to record, I'm talking to, you know, uh, the people who are going on the remix, so but I won't, I will, that'll be known soon in a couple of in a few days. Yeah, in a few days yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah. basically, something new is coming up soon. Definitely, new is coming up. Definitely, definitely. I'm going to get a female, a hot female artist, uh, or pass a song. Are we uh, allowed to guess? Um, she's a female. I, I don't want to spill it right now because okay. she hasn't voiced on it yet. Okay. And I don't want to, you know. But she's a female and she's Igbo and she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> so you should, okay. know, you should know the female okay. that's Igbo that's hot right now. So. A female that's Igbo that's hot, hot, that's hot plus an right. Igbo boy that's hot too. And then we got I don't know what we're going to. It's going to be mad fusion. Okay, man. that's a mad fusion. So this is going to catch fire. So, so. I'm telling you, so I'm doing the remix, it's coming soon. I'll do something from the Infinity song, right? Yeah. You all know Infinity now. Nobody wants to go to Infinity. But I want bubble to Infinity. So that's why I say, yeah. Before, before I've been the house to make an enter. Make one I see Slim Brown, they for center. People they want to see me at the mentor. Because of the way me are the rock instrumental. I've been the house with pain. But now I they pop champagne. Yes, so. Those are the house with pain will pop champagne. They just keep believing, keep on singing. Yeah. It's your boy Slim Brown, aka the Able Master, chilling with my man, a Kenneth. I'm the man from Radio Nigeria, and we're chilling right. on the Red Carpet Show. That's right. That's so, crazy, this man. is what it is like when you keep getting the very best talent and you get them. How you get them is what matters. Slim Brown. Got my homie, man. Thanks for coming to you. I don't know, how, how did you even come that? One of them, you should come to Enugu, really. No, I know with my home, like, yeah. I'm always in Enugu, you know, I'm always in Enugu. But it's just that most times here, you know, nobody knows when you're in town, you know. Okay. Uh, except when you have to be on the show, like, right? you just come in and yeah. go out, you know. But yeah, I, I got love from the people in you know, Enugu, in the East, you know, Owere, Onicha, Oka, Kosakot, and Bonny, all the places, Awumwaya, uh, you know, places loving the song and giving the boy the hype, you know. Yeah, love for you because I never see with you like you're legal here, we're not illegal here because they are our, our true fans, our real fans, you know. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's, so we always have them in mind. Way of coming back. You know, yeah, it's worth them, you know. All right, so this is Red Carpet Show TV right here on Radio Nigeria, and we always bring it to you the way you like it. And this is Slim Brown. Remember to follow up on Twitter at Slim Brown. That's it. I am Slim Brown. Okay, I, I am. am Slim. Okay. I am Slim Brown. Okay. That's simple. That's simple. I'm Slim Brown. He's Slim Brown. That's Slim Brown. <laughs> and I am a Kenne Odibe. Okay. I'm your regular host right here on Red Carpet Show TV. Remember to always keep a date on radio and of course on your YouTube channel. We'll be right back next week. Ciao, ciao.